Hello, my name is RD and we are going to solve this problem 10.15 from study book. So the question is solve for the current I. So we are asked to find out this I here using model analysis. Uh, okay, let's do exactly that. And let's name this node here as node A and this node here as node B. Okay, and maybe one thing to note here, note that I here, I is just VA divided by minus J2. Okay, yeah, all the components is already in FASOR, so we don't need to do anything, and we just need to start calculating by assuming the direction of the current first. So I want all the horizontal component left current to the right and all the vertical one i want to go down except for the current source which i just follow the arrow that is my convention my i always use that convention uh okay maybe let's do kcl at not a so kcl at not a What does KCL say? KCL said that the sum of the currents that goes in will equal to the sum of the currents that goes out. The only current that goes in is from this one. And that current is 20 angle of minus 90 degrees and then minus VA. Okay, divided by 2 ohm. And then this one here, that will be VA divided by minus J2. And then this one here is 5 angle 0. So I will has, I will just write it 5 angle 0 degrees. And then plus this one here, that will be VA minus VB divided by J1 or just J. Okay. Okay, maybe let's simplify all things here. It will have 10 angle of minus 90 degrees. And then I want to move this 5 angle 0 to the left hand side. So I have minus 5 angle 0 degrees. And then minus VA over 2, I want to move it to the right hand side. So I will have a over 2 or that one will be 1 half and then this one will be minus 1 over j2 and then this one will be plus 1 over j this one should be va and the only things remaining is just minus or plus minus 1 over j multiplied by pb okay Maybe let's save this, but I want to move this one here to the right hand side. So I will have 10 angle of minus 90 degrees minus 5 angle of 0 degrees to the right hand side. So I want to erase this. But also I want to move all of that slightly to the left. So I can have more room. Is it good here? Maybe that's good. So I will save this. Okay. I will save this as equation number one. So maybe let's save this as equation number one. And the next thing that we need to do is do the KCL again but this time at B. Okay, maybe KCL at B. Okay, KCL said that the sum of the currents that goes in will equal to the sum of the currents that goes out. Okay, maybe this is number one. Yeah, okay, 
So now the only no, there are two currents that goes in. So this one and that one. For that one, this one that will be five angle zero. Five angle zero. And I should use part. Four. Five angle zero degrees. Then this one here. So I will have plus P A minus VB divided by J1 and that will equal to this one here oh this also goes in so I will have 2i goes in so I will have 2i but remember that i is VA over minus J2 so I will have minus 2VA minus 2 VA divided by J2 okay so we have all the this three current that goes in but then we will have a current that goes out which is this one so I will have VB divided by four. okay I think that's all okay let's simplify this a bit so Maybe let's keep this 5 angle 0 degrees here and move all the rest to the right hand side. So I will have minus VA over J1 and then plus VB over J1 and then plus this 2 will cancel out. So I will have VA over J and then plus VB over 4 okay now let's let's group all of this oh i got this one so pa over j1 and pa over j they will cancel each other so we can get this and we can solve for pb okay that's that's actually a good thing here so i will have five angle of zero degrees and then i will have one over j plus one over four of pb okay and here we can calculate for pb okay what is pb from here we can calculate pb so pb here is just five angle zero five angle 0 degrees divided by 1 over j plus 1 over 4 okay this is pb mm, maybe let's store this it's p because it is pb right so and we need to to get this as polar coordinate so what is that so i will have 4.85 4.85 and then the angle will be 75.96 75.96 degrees and the unit will be four okay so we got pb here and so we can get pa from here right okay i think that should be okay so let's substitute this to one okay let's get back into one here so we will have okay let's keep the form 1 over 2 1 over j2 plus 1 over j of va that will equal to this one here 90 and then the angle will be minus 90 degrees so this is minus and then minus 5 angle 0 degrees okay and then this one will be plus 1 over j multiplied by VB. But we keep VB because we already stored the VB in calculator as the variable B, right? 
So we'll have PA here is just this number divided by this number here. So let's do a fraction here and we put the numerator here as this one. So I will have 10. Okay, and the angle, the angle will be minus 90, and then minus 5, and then the angle will be 0, okay, and then plus 1 over j, okay, let's do that, 1 over i of pb okay let's recall that because we save that as b right and then for the denominator i will have this number here so i will have 1 over 2 minus 1 over 2i and then plus 1 over Okay, and let's let's just convert this into polar, and I will have this one. So I will have fifteen point fifteen point eighty one, and the angle will be minus minus what is it? 46 okay 46 46 and then point 51 point and the unit here will be volt but the question is not asked about pa but about i but i is pa divided by minus j2 so we got pa so i will we can calculate i. i is equal to vi divided by minus j2. Okay. So that means that we can just divide this one by minus 2. Minus 2j. And let's convert this into polar form. That will be 7.91. 7.91 and the angle will be 43.49 43.49 and the unit here will be ampere okay and i think that is the result if i did not make any mistakes but if i do let me know in the comments which one that i made mistakes okay and that's all see you in the next video bye bye